Well, what you're looking at right here is on the website n2yo.com. I'm looking at the tracking setup for ARISSAT-1, the amateur satellite that was released from the International Space Station. You can see the red circle is the footprint of the uh, satellite, and that little red dot is my QTH, or location, in Central Oregon. We're going to try and listen in on this pass. It so we're going to be looking at the 1518 local pass over Central Oregon. The time of acquisition is 1518, which is just about now. The maximum um, elevation is going to be 70 degrees, and the losses signal is going to be at about uh, 1527 hours. So let's see if we can listen in on this great little amateur satellite. Okay, we have our radio tuned to FM. We are on 145.950, wide open squelch, and we'll see if we can hear it. So as we listen in uh, for this satellite pass, what you'll listen for on the radio is suddenly a quieting of the squelch as the radio picks up the transmission from the uh, satellite. And uh, then you'll hear the pre-programmed audio on board the satellite. And some of you may have heard this on your own before or on one of my prior videos. There's also a bunch of videos on YouTube. Here we are. I can hear it right now. You can see the satellite track as it's flying across North America and we are just at the tail end of the footprint and I have effectively lost uh, the signal. Okay well that was a cool uh, pass and it's always fun listening in and for those of you that are amateur radio operators what a great opportunity to, to participate in. This satellite is not going to be operational much longer, perhaps another month or two, and then its orbit will decay and will be lost forever. So now's your time to jump on board and listen in on this exciting satellite. For um, those of you that are interested but are not amateur radio operators, you can listen in on a standard scanner, and it's a lot of fun. You can download a uh, free application either for Windows or Mac, and you can decode the slow scan TV signal. Now I tried to do that on the end of this pass uh, to pick up the second uh, part of it but I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, receive it well so I will see if I can um, have my laptop decode the uh, signal and you can actually see it and if that works I'll put it at the end of this video but anyway if you're if you're at all interested in uh, being really prepared for emergencies of any sort Please remember that an essential part of prepping is communications. Without communications, you are essentially blind. So I would learn everything I could about communications. This stuff is very practical and very useful. All right, 73, and Merry Christmas to all of you.